In this video we'll show how you can create multi-column pick lists for edit combo and auto suggest controls for list control inline editing and how you can also fill in automatically other fields uh, when the user makes a selection from a pick list. So you can see we have a list here with in place editing turned on so let's go here and edit this row and then go to the city field and open up the edit combo. So you can see the edit combo opens up and it has uh, two columns, both city and country. And when I make a selection from the, uh, from the pick list, you'll see that the company name uh, gets filled in as well with data from the pick list. So let's go back now and take a look at how this was configured. So we'll go back to design mode. We'll open up the list. We'll go to fields. We'll go to the city field there and open up control settings. And we can see here that we have a, an edit combo box and that the field that we're, the table that we're looking up data in is the customer table. We're going to be basically displaying uh, data from both the city column and the country column. We're going to be returning data from the city column. And then our template over here defines the uh, data that is shown in the pick list. So basically city will be the first column. And we've got that set to a width of flex 3, which means that this city column will be three times the width of the country column, which is flex 1. We've also set the heading to be city in lower case, uh, in proper case, sorry, and country in proper case as well over there. Um, and uh, then on the fill-in fields, we've specified that the um, company field in the list row that we're currently editing should be filled with data from the uh, company name field uh, in the uh, source table. So let's go ahead now and uh, run this and we'll see that basically we have uh, two columns in our pick list and when we make our selection, so let's go there, go to our pick list, pick um, Albuquerque and you can see that we fill in the company name as well. So what we've shown over here is how easy it is to create multi-column pick lists for your edit combos and your auto suggests when doing in-place editing in a list control and how you can also specify fill-in fields that get filled in when the user makes a selection.